Well, Andy, we were two goals down. We came back and made the equaliser, but then something happens. Well, just a, I mean, I mean, it's a complete the, the, the catastrophe. The, the third goal. Um, they kicked off. We never got the ball back, which is the golden rule. Awful mistakes. Um, you know, one after the other. Um, and part of me wants to say that we deserved a point because we created so many chances and their best player was the goalkeeper. We started well, didn't we? I thought we started okay. I didn't feel that we were under any kind of pressure. I felt that we were the team that was in the, in the ascendancy. Even had two or three chances maybe before they scored. Um, but the, the, the manner in which we concede goals and we saw it earlier on in the season and we're seeing it again now. You can talk about football for as long as you want. You can talk about pretty passing patterns. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. But the reality of the situation is that if you're second to the first ball and you're second to the second ball, you'll finish second. And that's not good in football because there's only two teams playing. And aside from five players today, Everybody else was just not at the races, as we say in England. Just not at the races. You know, to, to get back in the game at 2-2 and I'm thinking, now we're going to win. Now we'll win this game. We've dominated most of the second half. They broke on us a few times, of course, which they're going to do because we were chasing the game. And um, I'm thinking, right, we've got 10 minutes. We'll score again. Class have come on and made a difference. I'll be not the same. Angel being Angel. And I thought that, and then they kick off and we never even sniff the ball again. And 25 seconds after you've put the ball in their goal, it's in the back of your goal. And that's just, it's just a lack of application, that and a lack of desire. It's nothing to do with, it's nothing to do with being a pretty footballer. It's just a, a desire to keep the ball out of your goal. And we just didn't have that today. I mean, thank God for Fabian Falkstrand at the back today because he was absolutely monumental in his performance and to be honest with you he had to be that lad is the epitome of um of how you should approach every single game that you play he just doesn't he doesn't give an inch was it anything uh, in uh Australian's performance that uh no it was exactly as we thought it would be we thought they'd play 4-4-2 and we played you know we played the same like we did at feeding um, and of course got a completely different performance. Too many players today didn't show up. Too many players think that if they've had a good game two weeks before, they're okay to have a bad game. Sorry, it isn't like that. Um, you know, you've got, to, you've got to hold your level of performance. And like I say, you, you know, I mean, we missed Nicholas Anderson today. You know, he, 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 Nicholas hasn't scored goals this year and he's had chances to score, um, but he's got a presence. And he's, you know, he's a, he's a good player for us to have in the team. So we get him back next week and there are other people who will get a chance next week because um, I'm afraid to say that we waved the white flag, some of us today, and I'm not satisfied with that.